As I was driving my Jeep across the country, I started listening to a book called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. And I recommend everybody listen to this book. Don't read it. Listen to it. It will do wonders to you. And if you're not familiar with it, the basic premise is the conversation a man has with the devil. And this man gets to ask the devil all the questions that he has been seeking his whole life. And it's pretty wild how you will see that the devil is not who you think he is. My friends, the devil is not some mythical creature with horns and a pitchfork. The devil, as Napoleon Hill presents it, is the force of negativity, doubt, and fear that resides within us all. It's that insidious voice that whispers, you're not good enough. You can't do it. And you should just give up. But fear not. For outwitting the devil arms us with the knowledge and strategies to conquer this inner demon and march towards our dreams. Imagine a life where you are no longer controlled by your fears, where you can boldly chase your aspirations with unwavering determination. This book is your roadmap to that life. It teaches us that the first step to victory is acknowledging the enemy within, understanding its tactics, and then crafting a battle plan to outsmart it. Hill's powerful narrative is not just a theoretical discourse. It's a call to action, my friends. It's about taking control of your thoughts and beliefs, harnessing the immense power of your mind and directing it towards your goals. It's about rising above the challenges that life throws at you and eventually emerging stronger and more resilient. Friends, let's take a page from the playbook of those who have faced seemingly and insurmountable odds and triumphs against all adversity. The power of persistence, the importance of self-belief, and the unshakable faith that every setback is a setup for a comeback. Think about the most successful individuals you admire. What sets them apart? It's not just luck or circumstances. It's their unwavering commitment to their vision their refusal to be swayed by doubt or negativity, and their unrelenting pursuit of greatness. Outwitting the devil provides the blueprint for us to emulate their mindset and emulate their success. As Eddie Pinero says, your mindset is the foundation upon which your life is built. If you fill your mind with doubt, fear, and negativity, you'll create a life that mirrors those thoughts. Conversely, if you cultivate a mindset of positivity, resilience, and unwavering belief in your abilities, you'll inevitably draw success, abundance, and fulfillment into your life. But let's be real, maintaining a positive mindset is not always easy. Life throws curveballs, challenges, and doubt your way all of which may creep in. This is where the brilliance of outwitting the devil shines brightest. It equips us with tools to combat these moments of uncertainty, to stand strong in the face of adversity, and to keep moving forward no matter the odds. Remember, champions are not made in moments of comfort. They are forged in the fires of adversity. 
even right now with everything that's about to take place. The world is about to get dark again. Potential lockdowns, potential isolation. Your true self is exposed when the days get darkest. Every setback is a stepping stone to success. Every challenge is an opportunity for growth. And every moment of doubt is a chance to reaffirm your commitment to your dreams. Let's refuse to be slaves to our own fears and doubts. Let's harness the power of our minds to shape our destinies, to create a life that reflects our deepest desires. Outwitting the devil is not just a book. It's a manifesto for a life of purpose, passion, and unwavering determination. It's a reminder that you have the power within to overcome any obstacle, to conquer any challenge, and to achieve greatness beyond your wildest imagination. As we navigate the journey of life, let's channel the spirits of the greats who have shown us that with the right mindset and unrelenting perseverance, we can turn our dreams into reality. Let's silence the voice of doubt. Let's defy the odds. Let's emerge as architects of our own success stories. You can be the hero of your own story. As long as you have the courage and the belief that you can slay the dragons ahead. You must be willing to pick up that sword and run towards what scares you. If you don't, the dragon will surely keep the gold. The dragon will surely get better and come for you when you become weak. The devil's voice will sink in and control you. Dragon Slayers, I urge you to dive into the pages of Outwitting the Devil with an open heart and a hungry mind. Let its wisdom seep into your consciousness and spark a revolution within you. Let it be the driving force that propels you towards your goals, the compass that guides you through the storm ahead, and the unwavering belief that transforms your life. In the book and the movie, Count of Monte Cristo, he has this amazing speech where he stands up and he tells people who are sitting at dinner with him, life is a storm. You will bask in the sunlight one moment, and you will be shattered upon the rocks in the next one. What you do when that storm comes is what makes you a man. There's a storm that's always coming. It's okay. There's a storm that's always coming. And if you are not diligent, and if you are not ready, your mind will guide you on a path that will never lead to the treasure. It's time to conquer your inner devils and rise to greatness.